If you've been following my Wedding Tip Wednesday for a little while, you'll know that I did a wedding tip about what kind of dress to wear, one that you look good in and feel good in. Today, it's about shoes. Yeah, shoes. Um, wear shoes that you're comfortable with. I know I. it's hard because I'm not a shoe girl. I really don't care. But listen, hear me out. If you are so uncomfortable in your shoes that you cannot walk and that you want photos to end sooner, if you're thinking about how your feet hurt in the middle of the ceremony instead of focusing on the promises that you're making to your husband for the rest of your life, that's a problem. I understand shoes can be really cute and people love shoes. That's great. Wear them ahead of time. Make sure that they are comfortable. I don't care how beautiful they are. I don't care how expensive they are. If they are going to put you in a bad mood on your wedding day, then it's not worth it. I know that's kind of an unpopular opinion because people are like, beauty is pain. I don't know about you. I, for me, I want to enjoy my wedding day. I want to focus on the promises that I'm promising to my partner for life. Um, I want to be able to get as much photo and video as I want rather than having to call it early because my feet hurt so bad. So wear your shoes ahead of time. I did see one photographer one time recommended that you do not wear your shoes ahead of time because then you might have like little toe imprints in your shoes. So then it kind of ruins the detail shot. Personally, I've never seen that before. Um, it's something to consider, but I would rather have the experience of enjoying my day than having a good photograph of my shoes that I wore. So what's more important to you? <laughs> Feeling good and comfortable on your day or having a good shot of your shoes? I guess the choice is yours. If you've been liking these Wedding Tip Wednesdays, it would mean a lot if you would like the video or leave a comment below. Leave a comment with some of your tips that you wish that you knew on your wedding day. And please be sure to subscribe because then you'll never miss another Wedding Tip Wednesday.